Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. Like, I know I said I wanted to get this over with, but I'm going through all the emotions right now. I just hope our baby is healthy. My back is killing me. Look at me. You're so strong. Whatever's going on, we can get through it. Together. I really needed to hear that right now. Thank you, babe. I'm never going to leave your side. It's you and me forever. Never forget that. Hey, mom, I brought you a cup of water if you want it. And I'm going to run a few tests. Oh, thank you so much. Of course, anything you need. How many weeks are you? I'm about 37 weeks. Oh, wow. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a bit early, but typically younger females don't carry to the full term. Will everything be okay? Of course, no need to worry. Here at Maple Hospital, we provide the best care for our mommies and babies. So I'm just going to start off by checking your baby's heartbeat. If you could please turn to face me, that'd be great. I'm a little on the shorter side. <laughs> Wow, such a healthy heartbeat for a little thing. That's what I love to hear. Now I want to put a nice ice pack on your forehead. We want to make sure that you're staying nice and cool. And don't exert yourself before it's time to push. One sec. Let me go grab it. I'm okay if I got here. Here, I'm going to give this to you. Can I lay back down now? Oh yes, of course. I'm going to grab your charts. Maybe 10 minutes at most. Adrian, can you call my mom for me, please? Of course. I'm going to call my dad, too, afterwards. Yes. Hello, Miss Layla. How are we feeling? Are contractions stronger or about the same? They're not too bad at the moment. Okay, let me take a look at the monitor because it'll tell me how strong they are, how long they last, and how often you're having them. Hmm. Okay, they're getting closer together and stronger. So that means soon you'll have to start pushing. But I'm going to check to see how dilated you are first. Okay, and can I request an epidural if it's too much to tolerate? I'm sorry, but we're too far in to do an epidural now. We would have had to do that earlier. What? We can get you some pain meds, but if I'm being honest, they don't really do too much. One sec, I'm going to throw on some gloves really quick. Hmm, okay, let's see here. All right, you are 7 centimeters dilated. We have to wait until you're 10 centimeters. Unless there's any complications where we have to get the baby out. But I doubt that will be an issue. See, everything is going well. I told you you had nothing to worry about. Too. I'm so sorry that I'm running late, but you guys know the traffic from Bloxburg to Maple Hospital is always so crazy. But I guess I'm not too late because I don't see my grandbaby around here anywhere. So, what are the updates? Adrian, did you call your dad? Is he coming? And Layla, your dad and your siblings will be here soon, I promise. Yeah, he's gonna try to make it here. He was on a business trip a few towns away. Mom, oh my gosh, I'm so happy you could make it. Me too. How many centimeters dilated are you? And how are you feeling? And why do you look so worried? I promise you, everything is going to be okay. The pain is getting more and more intense by the second. And on top of that, Dr. Harris said I can't even get an epidural. What do you mean you can't get an epidural? What happened? She said it's too late. Well, I hope they can give you some really good pain medication. But let's not freak out too much. You're going to be fine. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh my gosh! Babe, are you good? What's happening? I think the baby is coming. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Adrian, you need to calm down. You cannot be acting like this right now. Both of you just take deep breaths. Everything is going to be okay. I can see Dr. Harris coming in with the wheelchair. Here, I'll go ahead and get out of the way. Okay, Miss Layla, the big moment. Are you ready? Yes, just get it out, please. Take deep and slow breaths. That's the best you can do for yourself and your baby right now. Guys, I am trying to keep them as calm as possible, but I'm feeling quite anxious myself. I didn't expect to meet my grandbaby this soon. You can hold her hand. Okay, Layla, are we ready? Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, Miss Layla, now it's time to push. Okay, I'm ready. Dad, if you wanna take this ice pack and keep it on her head, that will help her a lot. It's gonna be okay, babe. I believe in you. Here we go. I'm going to count. One, two, three. And you're going to push for 10 seconds. Listen to my voice. I know it's going to be painful and a lot going on, but it's important to follow my instructions, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, push. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You can do it, babe. And one, two, three, push. I see the head. Keep pushing. The head? Babe, get up. Why are you passing out? I'm up. I'm up. I need to turn the baby so I can get its shoulders and then you have one final push. Okay, ready? One, two, three, push. Keep going. Keep going. I'm happy to announce, ma'am and sir, that you both have a healthy baby boy. He is just the cutest thing. A boy? I have a son? Let me hold him, let me hold him. Dad, if you wanna cut the cord, here are the scissors. Right here, and it's just going to leave a little stub. Here, make sure to support his little head. And don't cradle him too hard. You wanna make sure he has room to breathe. So now I'm going to guide you to feeding him. Are you doing formula or from your own body? Yes, ma'am, all natural. Okay, let me help you on how to feed him. So first, get comfortable however that is for you. And you can pull down the front of your gown and you're going to bring him towards you and that's when his little mouth opens up. You wanna try and make sure that he's latched on good or else it will hurt and cause you to be sore. I was just paged that you have some family waiting outside, so I will leave you both to it. They're here. Thank you so much for everything. And I'll have someone come in with the certificate for you to sign and fill out. I think we're gonna name you Amir Lewis Parker. Sounds like a perfect name for our perfect little boy. He's so precious. Do you want to hold him? Of course I do. I can't believe it. Hey, little man. I'm your dad. I cannot believe we are grandparents. Wow. So what did you guys name him? Look at my little man. They better have named him after me. We named him... Please be me, Amir Lewis. Amir, that is the cutest name ever. And Lewis, after your grandfather? I love that name. It's way better than my name, that's for sure. That is the most perfect name for him. Can I hold him? Of course. I can't believe I have a grandson. Be careful with him, please. He'll be the son I never had. Cause I don't know about Adrian. I think something went wrong somewhere. <laughs> Layla, of course I'm going to be careful. I had four kids. I know what I'm doing. Hi, Amir. I'm grandma. Ew, I'll never get used to saying that. He's adorable, isn't he? Definitely takes after me. Not so sure about that one, Adrian. Wow, look at him. I think he looks like me. I think he looks like the perfect mix of both of you. Look at those cheeks. He is too cute. Oh my goodness. And are those little freckles I see? Layla, I'm so proud of you. And Adrian, I'm proud of you too. You guys are doing such a good job and I know you're gonna be great parents. And oh my goodness, look at those little thighs. He's so chunky. Thank you, mom. That means so much to us. I know your son will love the both of you so very much. Wow, what a cute little man. Hello, little Amir. I'm your grandpa. Can you say grandpa? 
Hello, I think your baby is broken. Uh-uh, that's where we draw the line. He's saying mama first. Not Gaga. Here, take him. Okay, guys, so Adrian stepped out for a bit, but I think it's the perfect time to go ahead and bring in the kiddos. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. That's my little nephew. Finally, I'm not the only boy. He's so little. Hi, Emil. I'm Livy. I love your little freckles. I can't wait until you're old enough for me to teach you how to play video games. Welcome to the world, Amir. Mwah. Okay, guys, so it's been a while, and August took the kids home, and Mr. Parker left. I decided that I would just stick around a little bit longer. Not to be dramatic, but I can't breathe properly. Adrian, maybe you should go find Dr. Harris. Hey, look at me, look at me, you're gonna be fine. Try to keep your breathing steady. Maybe give me a mirror. Oh my gosh, Layla! I don't know what happened, I didn't do anything. She was breathing really heavy, and it sounded inconsistent, and then she just fainted. What? Um, okay, remain calm. I mean, I'm trying, but is everything okay? It sounds like postpartum stress. Guys, what happened? Welcome back, Miss Layla. Oh my gosh, Layla, you had us all worried sick. Are you okay? How do you feel? Here, take this, sir. Keep this on her head. For now, we'll put an oxygen mask on her. I'm okay, guys. Thanks. Okay, so Layla is on her breathing treatment, but the doctor says that she is looking and sounding a lot better. Pregnancy can do a number of things on your body, so I'm glad that she's okay. And Adrian is just chilling over here, so you two just get some rest, and I'll go ahead and put a mirror in this little crib over here. Today was obviously a very big day, and I'm so proud of Layla and Adrian for bringing a little baby boy into this world. Once again, his name is Amir Lewis Parker, and he is so cute. We did have a couple of scares throughout the day, but I'm so glad everyone is doing much better now. And if you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!